How y'all doing? This is Brian from BNB Exotics. Uh, I just wanted to showcase this Leo of mine, this up and coming male. He is um, a blizzard from the Golden Gate Gecko. He's possible head trimper. Okay. I'm going to be proving him out this year. Uh, with a couple trimper females that I have and seeing um, if he hits or not if he does hit that's still you know that's alright with me because blazing blizzards are, are, are my thing I like blazing blizzards I breed trimpers my whole camp besides the Hypo, the Tangerine Hypo lines that I work with um, are Tremper, pure Trempers. <clears throat> I specialize in Raptors. That's my thing. That's what BNB &B is I to do. I, I do Raptors and crosses with Raptors. And I have a couple other morphs that I mess with. My other, my other specialty is um, the Tangelo, the Super Tangelo, the Tangelo, Tremper Tangelo doing projects with them and that's really what I I breed and I have a couple I got blazing blizzards and I have these possible head trimper blizzards that if he does prove out to be pure blizzard non head for albino mm, I got some plans for him yes Just wanted to show y'all, he has a cool paradox spot. Look at that. He was a problem to eater when I first got him. He didn't like uh, mealworms. He would eat mealworms. He would just look at them and just, they would crawl around. And I had him in a, a 15 quart tub. And he uh, <clears throat> was really like real picky. He wouldn't eat too much. He, uh, he, he was just real, like he wasn't ready to eat. So... When they act like that, I put them in a smaller tub, and now, and I changed up his diet. I have some eaters that just like crickets, you know, but you got to watch where you get your crickets from. So if you're ordering crickets, I would suggest you order from the best, and the best would be either Timberline or Flukers. Timberline is number one. I've ordered from other places. I'm not going to go into their name, but Timberline for crickets. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. It's worth, you know, your collection. You don't, you, you would never want your collection to get contaminated or, you know, diseased or parasites. So it's always good to, you know, would you, you know, but, um, Yep, now he's, he's eating. I got him in this little tub right here for a minute until I get him up to eating. Then I'm going to set him up into his, his permanent place. But I wanted to get some weight on him because I'm going to be panning him out. He's going to be with a couple ladies in a couple months. So I had to get some weight on his little butt. Either way, out of home at BNB Exotics. This is from Marshall McGinnis's Pure Line of Blizzards. <coughs> this one is just possible head tripper. This is one of them that could be possible. But um, look at that cool paradox spot on his back. Yep. Well, this is Brian from B&B &B Exotics. Oh, by the way, there are eggs in the incubator. I got a couple secret projects that I'm going to pop out on y'all. So, be on the lookout. And ones that have sent, asked me to go on the list for um, certain projects that I'm doing, 
I do have the list and I will be contacting y'all first so that's how I do things my word is bond all right um, this is Brian at BNB Exotics I hope everybody's having a wonderful season and everything's kicked off pretty early this year but I still got a lot of young breeders so hey I'll be right here. Let me know what y'all think about him. And um, take care. See ya.